In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for HPO4 2 minus. Let's count the valence electrons up first. One for hydrogen, phosphorus is five, oxygen is six, but we have four of those. In this two minus, that means we have two additional valence electrons. Add them all up, we get 32 valence electrons for the HPO4 2 minus Lewis structure. When we see a Lewis structure with H in front of it, often that means it's an acid, especially when it's attached to this negative uh, polyatomic ion here. What that means is that the hydrogen is going to be attached to one of the oxygens, not to the phosphorus. So let's put our phosphorus in the center of the Lewis structure, and then we'll put four oxygens around it with the hydrogen on one of those oxygens. And let's shrink it down to give ourselves a little bit more room. So we have 32 total valence electrons. Let's put electrons between the atoms here to form chemical bonds. So we've used 10 valence electrons. Now let's complete the octets on the oxygen atoms. So we've used all 32 valence electrons and everything has an octet. The hydrogen has two valence electrons, so it's good as well. This seems like a pretty good Lewis structure. However, we should check the formal charges. When we do that, we found out the formal charges on the oxygen look like this. And the phosphorus has a plus one. Because we want our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible and still have enough for this minus two, we could make one modification to our Lewis structure. Let's take this pair of electrons and form a double bond with the phosphorus. When we do that, we're still obeying the octet rule for the oxygen. In phosphorus, that can have more than eight. It can have an expanded octet. And we're still using only 32 valence electrons. But here's the difference. Because we made this double bond here, we need to update our formal charges. So the formal charge on the oxygen and the phosphorus, those have changed from minus one and plus one to both of these being zero. And that makes this a more favorable or likely Lewis structure for HPO4 2 minus. For help with calculating formal charges, see the description for this video. There's a link to a video I did on formal charges. That's it. This is the most likely Lewis structure for HPO4 2 minus. One last thing, we should probably put brackets around it and put a two minus outside of those brackets. Okay, now we're done. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.